I'm going to be looking at the Aponin dual head solar powered floodlight with remote. Keep watching the video. Welcome back, it's Jeff Lepard from jefflepard.com and on this channel we do do-it-yourself videos, product reviews, vacation videos, and so much more. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. So I just received this package from Aponin and it's a dual head floodlight, solar floodlight, uh, with remote control. You can use it indoor or outdoor. It's got 60 LEDs um, per unit per head and um, it's got a lot of uh, mounting hardware. You can use it in many different applications, residential, commercial, but uh, the next thing we're gonna do is open it up and see what we got inside. Okay, we've got our mounting hardware based on uh, whatever application you're gonna install it on. So we've got some anchors. Um, and we've got some concrete anchors there as well if you want to put it into concrete or brick. And we just have some screws, so that's good. It's nice of them to uh, include that. Okay. There is our remote control. That's going to be to turn it on and off and go through the different selections of dust to dawn, um, brighter, less brighter, auto. We'll go through that uh, as well. Here is the solar panel. Let's take a look at this. So this is what's going to be charging the lights. Each light has a battery inside, and uh, this has got a nice little bracket, of course, and you can adjust that to face the sun in a uh, better manner. And of course, we have the wires, which will plug into the um, head unit, which are the lights. So let me put this aside. Okay, we've got some pamphlets. Okay. And here are our lights. Okay, there's one of the head units you can see. That's got 60 LED lights. It's gonna be pretty powerful. And the same thing with the next. And there we have it. This is the unit, the complete unit. And now all we have to do is install it and uh, we're gonna find a suitable location for that. And next thing to do is to go outside and that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna leave a link down below in the video description for you to get one of these. I'm ready to begin the installation process. So what I wanna do is to get the solar panel in place where I'm going to be putting that. So I'm just gonna put it along the fence. This is where I've chosen to put the lights. Now, you may have to remove the bracket, depending on your application, if you have it up against a brick wall or a building or something like that, you may not be able to get the bolts through the bracket without taking the bracket off. Then you'll affix the bracket to the wall or area where you're working with and then reattach the brackets. If you're doing something what I'm doing, I'm not gonna have to do that because I'm actually just gonna be installing it right here so I'm just gonna drill it right in there. It's uh, not really in the way, so my drill is gonna be able to send the screw through. But in any event that if you can't, you have to remove the brackets first. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, screw that in. Now that the solar panel is affixed, and uh, just keep in mind that the kit does come with its own hardware. I chose to use my own hardware. I was using uh, a little bit thicker um, wood screws, but uh, nevertheless, you can use your own hardware or the hardware that's uh, provided. So just make sure that you have uh, enough length of wire before you install, install the light uh, so that you don't run out of uh, cord and you have to uh, move it after. So I'm actually gonna be putting the light over here, the first light. 
So that's what I'm gonna do right now. And just as I mentioned before, you may have to remove brackets because I cannot get the screw through. So I have to remove this bracket off the light first. And that will allow me to bolt the bracket on and then I can mount the light on after. So now I'm going to be installing the bracket to the top of the fence line where I'm going to be putting the light. So I'm just going to send the screw in to affix the bracket and then I'm going to mount the, bra uh, the light to the bracket. Now I'm going to attach the light back onto the bracket. So just going to start it with my hand. And uh, you'll see there's a uh, lock washer and uh, screw. Okay, so I'm just gonna get that there. And same thing for the other side. And now is the time you wanna aim the light where you're going to aim it before uh, tighten it up. So this is good here. Okay, and same thing for the other side. Now that the light is installed, I'm going to take one of the wire leads and just connect the light so it can begin to charge. Now remember, you can always tidy up the wire after once you uh, connect it, tuck the wire away or wrap it up, however you want to do that. So here we just have the connection, just going to plug it in and twist to secure and also uh, prevent that from weather, water and rain getting uh, into the light. You can also tell that these lights are charging the internal batteries based on the light on the left side. You can see it lighting up red, showing that it is currently charging. Okay, so it's nighttime right now. It's dark and we're going to give this a, a go gonna try it out it's been charging all day and uh, before you get started you're gonna just pull the tab on the back of the remote and that's going to uh, allow the battery to make contact so we're gonna go ahead and turn it on now this remote you point at each light that you want to activate as you see this one's on I can turn the other one on just by pointing the remote control to the light so you see they're on various controls that you can do we can make them brighter uh, less bright or you can even change the uh, tone of the uh, of the color. So you can make it soft or uh, brighter. So here we go. And let's try to uh, see what we can do about making it. There we go, we're dimming it. There we go, we can make it dim. Same thing with the other light. It's very, res the, very responsive to the uh, remote control. There's also other settings, three hour, four hour, five hour, six hour, seven hour, and eight hour. And uh, that's just uh, the amount of time you want the lights to go on. And you can just check all that out in the manual, which also comes with this product as well. It's very easy to use. So uh, I encourage you to uh, read the manual and it'll explain everything what's going on with that. So here we go, the lights are dim. Let's try to brighten them up again. And you can see it's pretty responsive. Wherever I put the remote, that's what's going on and they are quite bright. That is very powerful. I'm gonna leave a link down below in the video description for you to get one of these. That's it, that's how you install the dual head solar powered floodlight. Just wanna thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, bash that bell to turn notifications on for all upcoming videos. Share the video, like the video, leave a comment down below, We'll see you next time on the next video. Jeff Lepard, jefflepard.com. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.